Uh, 16th? You just had your 16th uh, season premiere at SNL. It's unbelievable, man. Like, I'm the record holder. You are the record Saturday holder. Saturday Night Live. Right? When, yeah. Oh. Deservedly so. Thank you. Thank you. Did you... Uh, how, did you enjoy uh, the first show back? Season premieres are always exciting. I enjoyed watching it. I sure did. Yeah. yeah I was uh, not in it much. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was all good, though. I did my part in the monologue, and I got to watch the circus unfold. There was a circus yeah. on Saturday. Uh, Kanye West-led uh, circus. Um, yeah. uh, particularly at the end of the show. Now, he, uh, for those who didn't watch, uh, he did a, a song at the end of the show. Then the show ended. Yeah. But then it turned out that he uh, brought a bunch of people on. He brought the cast back on stage yeah, while yeah. he gave a very political uh, speech. Uh, yeah, he voiced his opinion very yeah. loudly. Yeah. Uh, yeah not for, a guy who's, uh, who's scared yeah. of his opinion. And no, no, it. not at all. And, you know, we're all entitled to our opinions. Sure. I, you know, I don't know if that's the moment necessarily to hold people hostage like that. <laughs> But hey, you know. Well, the thing about what I, you know, when I share my opinion, one thing I try not to do is say, come on, everyone, come yeah, on up. Yeah. Come join me. Yeah. Yeah. Come into the wolf's den. And you then guys, I'll... you all disagree with me, right? Come yeah, up here. Yeah. Come up here. Join me while I do I'll this. I'll be nice. I promise. I promise I'll be here. nice. Yeah. And then I'm lying. Proceeds to cock out on people. Yeah, that's You what were not, I, uh, <laughs> because people, again, it was not. It was not on uh, broadcast. Some people filmed it. You were not right. on stage, I noticed. I, uh, yeah, I had departed. Okay. Yes. Now, was that a choice? Did you, did you choose to depart, or you just uh, departed? I mean, by... I was just, you know, thinking that, you know, I would rather, like, watch the, you know, performance on TV. Sometimes I like watching the musical performance. Of course. Like, how everybody would see it, like, on TV as a viewer. And so then when you saw what happened, were you so happy with the choice you'd made? For sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As soon as he said, hey, join me up on stage, everybody, I was like, oh, there goes the little cheese in the mousetrap. It like, it's, go it's going down. I felt so bad for those guys because it's, it's hard to stand there and not be able to, you know, debate somebody who's going so far against, you know, your personal opinion as well and just stand there and take it just for, you know. And, uh, you know, the other thing whatever. is I think that, uh, and, and you and I can both speak to this, that SNL, you try to make the people that are the, the musical guests, the host, you try to make them comfortable. We're fair. Yeah, yeah, we're fair. We're in a service business. You know what I mean? Yeah. We try to cater to the host, make sure they have a good show and whatnot. And then, you know, when musical guests come in and they're a little bit crazy, maybe they're a little bit crazy. Yeah. We, we let them have that. Yeah. So, I mean, but we don't, we don't judge. We're, n we're not Absolutely. there to judge. Uh, I had one of the most delightful things happen to me on the street the other day. I was uh, walking down the street. I bumped into you and your baby girl, yeah. Gianna. On super daddy duty. Super that's daddy right. duty. Yeah, uh, right. There she oh. is. Look at her. So, uh, first of all, it's not because you are uh, you turned 40 this year. You had your second yeah. little girl. Greatest summer of my entire life. My second little girl was born. She's healthy. She's happy. My wife is healthy and happy. My big girl, Georgia, is healthy and happy. She's four. She's obsessed with her sister. We got nominated and won an Emmy. You won an Emmy. show won an Emmy. I got personally nominated. You, um, <laughs> you won Crazy. a... Uh... We won an Emmy. You won an Emmy for this song. Yes. Thank you. Shout out. We shout out Casey and JoJo all the time because yeah. they were heavy inspirations. Uh, <laughs> and that is, uh, you wrote a song with Chance the Rapper. Yeah, man. Shout yeah. out to Chance the Rapper, man. Uh, Once again, I got nominated the first time with Chance. So yeah. The dude is brilliant. Well, I, you and I came by our Emmys in very similar ways, which is I won an Emmy for writing a song with Justin Timberlake. And I think the key is... Yeah, you got to pick a good horse. Yeah, exactly. Pick a good horse. That's right. <laughs> No one, I feel That's like, right. is looking at the ballot being like, oh, yeah. okay, I like yeah. Kenan Thompson's yeah. songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. No. We, I picked two good horses, Chance and Chris Red. <laughs> Chris Red, absolutely. Red he was fantastic. So, yeah. And, uh, and uh, what is it? Is it Chris's second season now? Is yeah, man. Oh, yeah. The boy's blowing very up. Very excited. It's, yeah, he's doing a great pocket. job. Unbelievable. You, uh, uh, you very, it was both, it was bittersweet, because you were nominated for a supporting actor. You lost. With that said, Henry Winkler won. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. if there's anybody to lose to, it's, it's Henry Winkler. It's Henry. Yeah. I mean, uh, he was sitting right across the aisle for me. Yeah. yeah give it up for Henry Winkler. Seriously, right. like... His story is incredible. He, was, he waited 42 years for yeah. that Emmy. You know what I mean? He was In the theater yeah. the whole time. Right. Yeah. sitting there that entire... <laughs> just ready. Speech written, getting dusty. Changing it yeah. as it was. Right. It has new kids, yeah. has oh to, like, my God. pencil them in. And then, but, yeah, I mean, he sat right across the aisle from me, and when I saw him, you know, I, I gave him, you know, like a nice across-the-aisle squeeze. Yeah. Because he's a dear friend. We worked on a show, uh, an animated show, uh, called Sit Down, Shut Up, and we were, like, faculty members or whatever. And when I first met him, he was the sweetest little old Jewish man that I've ever seen in my life. He was, like, 
a sweet little Jewish gumdrop and he just wanted to like <laughs> eat him up and he's like just gave me a hug and he was so warm and we talked and I was just like I can't believe I'm talking to Fonzarelli right now you know what I mean and yeah. he's talking to me like he knows me he's like we watch you all the time we love you in the in the Winkler house and then we were nominated in the same category and like that's just a flattery in its own right you know what I mean just to be in the same sentence as that guy and he won and it stung you yeah. know but um <laughs> I was so happy for him because I know how great he is. And then I found out about, you know, the 42-year thing. And I was like, well, yeah, of course he should have won. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I said something nice to him when I presented the award myself at the end of the night just because it came from the heart. And I saw him sitting there. I congratulated him. And he wrote me a letter. That's so amazing. He sent me a letter and like, wrote me like a thank you letter. He's the truly the nicest sweet, sweet here. Man. It's one of those people who would be so devastating if you met Henry Winkler and he wasn't the nicest person oh, and he just... I, it would suck so hard. It would suck so hard. Because, like, I could get it. Like, if he was just the Fonz, I was like, yeah, okay, he's kind of a tough guy. But he also played, like, you know, a lot of really sweet teachers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know absolutely. I mean? And, like, a lot of good dads and yeah. stuff like that, especially in Click, you know, Adam Sandler's dad. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, so sweet.